What? E-learning. How did it go for you? What? What country are you from? What? Do they speak English and what? What? What ain't no language I ever heard of? Sorry, let's just do the news. Gosh. Congratulations to the 130 students that participated in the ISSMA solo and ensemble competition this past weekend at Westfield High School. The Noblesville Band had 40 events achieving the highest rating. 19 soloists and 8 ensemble qualified for the ISMA State Finals on February 27th at North Central High School. Good luck to the students preparing for state. If you plan on taking the SAT, there will be SAT prep classes that begin on Monday, February 22nd. It will consist of 10 two-hour sessions to prepare for the May 7th SAT. You have two classes to choose from, 3 to 5 p.m. or 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., and they are on a first-come, first-served basis, limited to 20 students. Come to Guidance to pick up an enrollment form or find it on the NHS website. Then return to Guidance with, along with a $65 check or exact catch, cash AS, <laughs> ASAP Rocky. Also, don't forget to register for the May 7th SAT by April 8th. <laughs> Do you have new or gently used blankets you would like to put to good use? If so, participate in sharing the warmth with Indy. There's a donation box in the Commons until tomorrow, February 5th. All donations will go straight to an organization that distributes the blankets to shelters throughout Indy. If you have any questions, contact Emily Zentz or Madison Pedigo. Your NHS Theater Department is currently hard at work on their spring production of Lost in Yonkers. With that in mind, NHS News' Victoria Ratliff and Isaiah Brewer take a look back at the Theater Department's fall production of Godspell. The cast of NHS's Godspell exceeded the director's expectations that were set by last year's musical. It provides so much confidence. Um, I don't care if you're going on to be a business owner or a marketing person or a speaker. You will walk away with so much more confidence in who you are just visually. The actor's favorite part of the musical? The people who were in it. My favorite part about Godspell is probably the group aspect of it. I really like my fellow castmates. With students staying several hours after school, some find it hard to balance their life. I am just so motivated to come here and just do the show and really get into it and become involved and feel that character that I am and to make new friends and just soak in this experience while it lasts because I think we should just all make the most of it while it's here because it's a great opportunity for everyone involved. Not only do students have fun on stage, they said they learned life lessons off the stage. Not only does it teach us a lot about like on the spot acting and like doing different roles, but also just how to go with the flow and figure out things as they go. In today's society, the musical arts and theater departments aren't viewed as important by some people. Building endurance and building character, it's so important. Um, for kids to be doing something, and with the arts, they're really expressing themselves. Several directors and actors of the show said their favorite part wasn't the show, but seeing the cast grow into young adults. For NHS News, this is Isaiah Brewer and Victoria Ratliff. The theater department comes back in March with Lost in Yonkers. Stay tuned to NHS News for details. And we did it again. What? Say what one more time. I dare. I double dare you. Say what one more time. Oh, my dear students. <laughs> When creating next year's schedule, consider theater arts. All NHS elective theater courses stimulate student creativity through peer collaboration. While exploring course objectives, students acquire vital life skills by discovering the importance of traits such as time management, flexibility, acceptance of others, effective communication, and self-confidence. Theater Arts 1 and 2 is the prerequisite for all other theater electives at NHS. Prior experience isn't needed. All course descriptions can be found on the school's website under the Guidance tab. For more information on these electives and Noblesville's extracurricular theater opportunities, please contact Mrs. Neaton.
Welcome back to Sports NHS. <laughs> We've got a lot of great news for you today, so let's jump in. Congratulations to all your Miller wrestlers who went at sectionals. The Millers will send seven wrestlers to regionals at Pendleton Heights. They are led by Nick Brady and Ryan Leslie. Good luck, boys. On Monday night, your freshman boys basketball team dropped two tough games to Carmel. The A team lost 38 to 26. The Millers were led by Zach Johnson with eight points and Grant Grimmel with six. The B team lost 26 to 24. Andrew Knoll led the Mighty Millers with six points. Varsity and JV boys play Thursday, February 4th at Brownsburg with JV at 6 p.m. and Varsity at 7.30 p.m. Monday night in the cold chlorine fill pool, your NHS men's swim team was defeated. Senior Kerry Brochiers won diving. Though the men's team had a great season, this wraps up dual meets. The women will host the IHSAA sectional preliminaries tonight with finals on Saturday. Good luck, Millers. Drop what you're doing. Go and support the Lady Miller varsity basketball team this Friday and Saturday as they compete for a sectional championship. Good luck, ladies, and make us proud. Shout out, Caitlin O'Reilly. Well, that's all for sports today. See you later, all of you aspiring athletes.